because it's got a kick, I'm not gonna lie, it is hot and it would uh, seriously spice up your life. <laughs> no, maybe not. Anyway. Hello, welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and a beautiful, beautiful sunny afternoon here in Dudley. My arms are out, catching the rays. So we're here today, reviews outside the workplace. I seem to be doing a lot of reviews outside the workplace because it's the only chance I get to record at the minute because I seem to be busy on weekends all the time, going places, doing stuff. A couple of vlogs coming up maybe. Who knows? But uh, we shall see. Anyway, today we're on for a hot sauce review. I've had this hot sauce in my possession. It actually came into a packet in a pack of three. Um, back end of last year, we was in Budley and uh, we was walking along the river. They had the market on. And I bumped into this guy, Frank and Co. And he had a selection of hot sauces. Tried a couple, pretty damn good. And then I says, do you know what? Just give us a pack of three. Because they were pretty damn tasty, I'm not going to lie. So we have Frank and Co. Hot Pepper Sauce. Very hot and spicy. Very hot and spicy. We'll see what chilli peppers are in it to make it hot and spicy. I'm trying to find my glasses. I don't know what pocket I put them in. Wherever I put my glasses. Aha! Bingo! Anyway. So made with hot chili peppers a hot rating it's suitable for vegetarians it's halal and gluten free produced in the uk frank sources limited www.frankandco.uk leave it there for you guys if you want to go and take a look a quality hot pepper sauce from frank and co made using a combination of fiery scotch bonnets carolina reaper peppers and spices Ready to serve with any food, this hot sauce would add heat to whatever you eat. Heat to whatever you eat. Sounds like a plan. So we've got Scotch Bonnets and Carolina Reapers. So you know this is going to be banging. So you know it's going to be hot. Stomach uh, cool right within six weeks. Shake well before use, as always. Right. The important part. Ingredients. Water, tomato, scotch, bonnet, pepper, 11%. Ginger, 9%. Ooh, this is gonna have a bit of zing. White wine vinegar, cider vinegar, brown sugar, molasses, lime juice, cayenne pepper, salt, onion powder, modified maize stars, anoretto seed. Anoretto seed? Don't know what that is. I'll have to Google that one. Sorbic acid, Carolina reaper peppers, garlic powder, and spices. Carolina peppers, reaper peppers is quite low on the list, so, it's not going to be it's going to be reaper heat probably but it's not going to be that much reaper heat as if it was in the top two or three scotch bonnets though what did we say 11 percent which is probably about there which is a fair whack of scotch bonnets to be fair it's quite by the looks of it a chunky sauce it's got a nice uh like a brownie dark mustardy colour you can see the seeds and the peppers running straight through it so Frank and Co lovely bloke who I spoke to him I'm assuming he was the owner like I said it was the back end of last year when I bought these been sitting there a while but a lovely bloke really knew his peppers knew what he was talking about and obviously got a, a pretty good hot sauce company so there's no clog in it. Let's have a good sniff that. Ooh. You know, if you watch my channel long enough, I love citrus. I love citrus and also, and this has got such a long, a strong lime flavour. It's halfway down the list. But it's really, really potent. So Go for the pour for Frank and Co. Hot pepper sauce. Oh, God. 
do you know what i'm not going to bottle it that's a lot of hot sauce considering it's got reapers and uh my mouth's actually watery reapers and the scotch bonnet like i said quite chunky there's bits of seeds and stuff in there so here goes for frank and co i didn't mean to pour that much on the spoon hot pepper sauce <coughs> that that lime flavor is so strong but i love it i really do love it like i said i love citrus in drinks i love a gin and tonic with a slice of rice and lemon some lime in there as well that it's not as hot as I was expecting to, it, it to be, but like I said, because the Reapers were so far down the list, you, don't, you get a kick of Scotch bonnet, do not get me wrong. If you was a non chili head, this would probably be an 8 or a 9 for you. <coughs> but somebody like me, I'll get onto the heat bait in a moment and stay with the flavour. But definitely, non chili heads, this is hot, very, very hot. But the citrus bit is absolutely fantastic this would go great on seafood so if you get do you know what i've got i've got a plan for this i want to do some hot pepper sauce prawns you get the zinger that ginger as well flavor rating <coughs> That gets an eight, but that's, this is my opinion, obviously, as always, when I do hot sauce reviews, food reviews, it's my personal opinion. Because I love citrus and I love lime, that gets an eight. Gets a top notch flavor. Eight. That's definitely <coughs> some nice um, stir fried rice, some prawns, fried up prawns, with that splashed in, poured over, that would be a banging dish and that is what if i get time which fingers crossed i do i'm going to be making frank and frank and co hot pepper sauce prawns keep an eye out for that video it might happen it might not as well you never know with my schedule nothing but that i'm loving that that's so flavorsome so tasty you get the ginger you get the kick of the scotch bonnet but that lime flavor is absolutely fantastic so heat rating, I'm gonna go with a three, because for me, it's, it's a little bit on the back of the throat, a little bit on the lips and a little bit on the tongue. But like I said, non chin heads, that's gonna be an eight or nine. It's gonna blow your mind. <coughs> Somebody, like I say, taking the road, for a massive, massive chili head, that's probably a one. But I'm gonna give it a good three for heat, because it's got a kick. It definitely has got a kick to it. So, Frank and Cole, hot pepper sauce. There's two more of these to try. And after tasting that one, I can't wait to try the other two. I really can't. I'm really looking forward to the other two. So, like I said, flavor rating gets a big, strong eight. Massive, beautiful flavors. Uh, heat rating gets a three because it's got a kick. I'm not gonna lie, it is hot. And it would uh, seriously spice up your life. <laughs> no, maybe not. Anyway, so I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click all and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, at Rob's Homemade. So from Frank and Co. and his hot pepper sauce, very hot and spicy. Peace.